Welcome back to Bug Pinning and Preservation 101. I have a tiny mic today because my neighbor started cutting down a tree at about 7.30 this morning. Regardless, this is an excellent question. Feel free to pause and read. All living things have the potential to carry parasites. Mantis are not excluded. Types of parasites include mites, fungus, parasitic wasp and fly eggs, and the horsehair worm. There's a certain community on this app that will show horrific videos of hair worms emerging from mantises and then try to tell you that because of things like that, you should be deworming yourself regularly. A hair worm cannot complete its life cycle in a human, so if you're concerned about that, you can go ahead and uh, breathe a sigh of relief. Good news is you've frozen your mantis and that is going to be how you take care of these parasites. Most insect larvae and eggs eggs will die after a couple days at I believe it's below 18 degrees Fahrenheit and your freezer is kept at about zero degrees Fahrenheit. If you're really concerned about the hair worm in particular, gutting is going to resolve that issue. You would just pull it out with the rest of the internal organs. Only between about 1 to 28 percent of wild caught mantises have hair worms. Higher end of that is going to be specifically if they're near a body of water. Freezing for a couple of days should do the trick. I hope this was helpful. Good luck out there. I'm gonna put in a video of a hair worm now. You've been warned. Gnarly stuff.